in the space, energies which enter to the body of the man will change the crystal lattice of the cells. As we produce crystal salts in our body, we produce crystal structures which become very much like electronic systems we know, and then they can interfere with the structure of the body of the man and lead to creation of many functions like cancer. The new technology we'll teach next week is the way to be able to convert these chemical conversions into neutral state. Which means, if any ray fields enters your body and creates electronic systems as we know it now, that it amplifies or elevates or reduces the function of part of the body, at the point of entry of the field, you can change or block or disable the operation of the conversion of the energies into crystals. Last week, I touched very simply on the uses of the colors in the fabrics which create and is creation of crystals within the body of the man. That is part of the same teaching. This is part of the same process, where crystals create transition transistors and the rest, and the operation of the fields flow in the body of the man. We do this ourselves. This is how our body communicates with our emotion. Now we show a technology that if anything foreign introduced into the body, you can convert it, you can block it. That it does not affect your emotion, does not affect your operation of the body, does not change your DNA or RNA. <coughs> this will happen in the space that the combination of different fields create different structures within our body that can lead to creation of these, what are called chemical secretaries, that these circuits that um, can change the operation of the part of the body or interact with the emotion. And we teach you how to uh, block the work of these systems as part of the space defense technology for human body then you can understand how you might be able to use it in different application. In a space, a combination of the rays can create and lead to the creation of crystal lattice that is in the, right, in the, in the dimension of the carbon, and then create interaction that interferes with your emotion. We have seen these through the long-term stay of astronauts, Russian astronauts in a space over six months to 12 months creation of crystals, change of behavior, and understanding that these behaviors can be triggered in certain ways, and certain fields. In the teachings of coming weeks, we teach you how to block this, how to stop if such a crystallization, or what we call interaction of the fields enters the body of the man in the space. It could be in the shape of a virus, it could be in, in any other shape. And this is a way that we can prevent any unwanted damages or introduction of new, what you call, elements into our body, can endanger our emotional lives or change our RNA or DNA, as we have seen in space. So we bring the knowledge of space, advanced space technology within the next week to teach you how to block, how to convert, if these crystallization circuitry are established in your body through interaction of the fields in the universe. So this is another step in preparing and sending people to space is to, um, to have this technology in place to protect us in our travel, if we're um, traveling tra 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 traveling physically in space, or we're also be traveling using our souls and our plasma, right? Too, without uh, souls can be can be affected by the same. So it's a general teaching. Oh, okay. 
It's the same way, because the interaction of the fields with the soul leads to the creation of the physicality of the man. So the souls are vulnerable into receiving fields that creates combustion and creates condition of creation, manifestation in physicality. It is very interesting how a knowledge has a multi-purpose use. Depends on where and how you want to use it. Well, I, I never thought of our souls. I've always thought of our physicality being susceptible to uh, viruses, things like that. But uh, this is the uh, this is my first realization that souls can be affected by these things. By the you, see, you see, in the world of science, we say we cannot bend rays. But in fact, if you have the knowledge I have, I can make a circle of the same wave. I can make it to rotate around itself like a twister. But in a world of uh, uh, present science of physics, say you cannot bend the light. Light travels in a straight line. You give me the knowledge, as you all of you have, if it's a particle or is it a ray, and then understanding of it, as uh, you have uh, access to changing magnetic fields, which can interact and divert or attract uh, any ray, be it the ray of light or being the ray of the soul of the man. The knowledge is very deep. And in that process, we understand the creation of it. And this is what we are teaching. This is what part of the opening of the knowledge and the sciences and will be. The source of creation is not just what man taught. The science of creation is one man have to understand. And then they realize his power. In the new space technology, we need to understand the creation of materials within us. We create cancer cells through emotion, through interaction of the fields. So shall be that we understand, we can, the same way as we can reverse a cancer cell to no cancer cell, we can change anything which is produced or introduced into our body as electrical products or collection of the fields in a chemical way into a non-effective position. We teach the universal process of creation. So we know how to interfere, how to block and how to change. We need it. We've seen astronauts long-term stay in the space, have created crystal cells and different emotional configuration on the return to Earth. Initially, I got involved with these through NASA, through, as I said, um, University of Washington years ago to block astronauts to um, to receive cosmic rays in their brain. We saw it as a photon and the flashes of light in the brain creates crystal conditions that some of them create their own circuitry. Now and these circuits can create to creation of different emotions or encourage certain emotions. So this technology has been already developed and used in different way. Now we teach it that it can be used in the present time for those who become the passengers of the, what are called universe through planet Earth, that as they receive fields of energies in this different shape of viruses and the prevention of the viruses, they can protect themselves. We cannot come back to Earth every time we hit a virus in the space. Many of you know many of these techniques. Now you have to understand how to use it. When your body creates a crystal, 
which is very much like a microchip. You have to know how to open it up and how to disable it, even if it still exists. Gaps and spaces in fields and energy creates different conditions in the body of the man. And this is why, for example, we see many of the people who go through some kind of surgeries, then they show development of the cancer at the point of surgery. The reason is, first of all, the lattice structure of the tissue has changed. And in most cases, we understand due to introduction of the elements of the cutting tools, they create a first condition of the elements within the cell of the cancer. Mm. When, the, when, when a, a doctor cuts uh, flesh, that knife leaves microstructure of the, if it's a rough uh, tissue, the way you put a knife to a sandstone, the atomic structure of the knife stays within the cell of the uh, tissue which is left behind and becomes the center of the cancer. And that's how we see what we say, uh, more some of the cancers we see is accidental and through the operation. This is what happens. We change the environment and the um, copper, as the copper in the tissue, now through the introduction of the change of the field strength and most probably use of some copper products in the operating room, becomes the seed of the copper and becomes the seed of cancer. And then further on we see the production of cancer in the tissue. And this is why we see less and less cancers in those operations which laser beams have been used, because there is no introduction of the matter states into it. If you read the statistics about the number of cancers where the laser has been used for all the application, is more or less to near zero. But those who we use the knives and everything else and infected labor, what do you call it, operating room, we see the creation of cancer because as we know by now, we can create two fields and if you introduce a third field, we can create the matter of it. This is what happens in the body of the man. And now they create new materials and those can create new conditions as a resistor and a transmitter and change up the DNA. And this is what some viruses do with us, the energy packs they deliver. We have they to introduced learn. They Are introduced they? the third field. The viruses yes. introduced the third field. It could be, yes. Even the condition of the materials, as we said last week, the, yeah. the body of the man, when the third field comes as a, a coloring or a vitamin additives, which is a carbon base, your body changes and starts producing crystals. That's what we said about the products, the sports products, and the coloring introduced as a carbon base. If one of these carbons introduced as a, uh, which is used from coal, links, and has the strength of the amino acid carbon of your body, your body starts creating matter states. This is what a lot of knowledge seekers never understood. The level of the acidity conversion to alkaline is the point of the manifestation of matter state. This is why the doctors tell you the more alkaline you are, there is lack, less possibility of the cancer because with the alkalineness, which is the salt base, as many of you produce cancers, you stay in the energy level. As you go to the acidic base, you create the matter state. So as you go acidic, most of the condition of the fields of the plasma of the cancer in your body has the more opportunity to be at the level of the matter state. This is how matters are created. When we see a stone, when we see aluminium, when we see sulfur, when we see gold, we have to understand that's a point where acidity and alkalineness of the environment of the cell itself, of the atom, is in balance for production of, or manifestation of physical manifestation. 
and knowledge seekers by now should have understood this knowledge. This is why when we give ganses to people, or water or water ganses to people, or the doctors, they tell us then they increase the use of the higher level uh, alkaline based cancers, we see the eradication and change of the environment of the body into non-cancerous because we change the acidic into. The point of the conversion, if you go to very high alkalineness, you become acidic. And that's the point of the manifestation of the matter state. Where the gravitational and magnetical balance each other and are equal to each other, then it leads to manifestation of the matter state. That's how the surface of this planet is created. Due to, there are two things, one is the heartbeat of, which is the continuation, and the flow of the fields, and the environmental condition of the gravitational magnetic field, or alkalineness and uh, acidic. Acidic is what? And what is alkalineness? Which one is gravitational, which one is magnetical? And if you read book number one, when the two balance out, we get the matter state. Like the surface of the earth. So it should be very easy to be understood. When you find objects created or initiated in your body, if you can change the balance, find out what it is, and change the balance in it to balance of the alkalineness more than acidic, you'll find out the element cannot exist. Isn't this what you do in your um, gas production unit, you create a alkalineness at the level that the matter changes to plasma, you call it a GANS. And this is what you need to do in your body. As you increase the alkalineness and you reduce the acidic, the possibility of creation of cancer or solidification and creation of circuitry is impossible. It's simple science, and most of the knowledge seekers have not understood this. As they tell me, explain, but we thought you understood this a long time ago. It's the energy transfer to giving and taking, and when you bring the balance, you lead to the creation. Mm -hmm.